How's it going everybody? It's Risky back again. Beautifully balmy autumn, May evening here in Brisbane City. Thought I'd take the opportunity to show you what I whipped up on my old little ninja. Let's start from the front, shall we? You may remember all the stock bits and pieces. Well, I've done a, quite a bit to it since then, so what have we done? First up, these nifty little reflectors that they used to have on here came as stock. They, of course, whipped right off straight away as did the ninja stickers, so it's a nice clean black finish now. All over. Chuck some bar ends on there. You can see those. Now they were a mission. It was a big call. I had to take a hacksaw to my new bike and cut the ends off and drill holes and... If you can see it, hopefully I did a good job and you can't. Well, somewhere underneath there, the wires thread through. And I'll show you what they look like. They're pretty cool, I reckon. There you go. So there goes the bar ends. In sync with my Proton Flush Mount Indicators. You can set these to strobe, but I just felt they had a bit too much of an aftermarket look about them, so having them all flash at the same time. It's kind of cool. A bit more visible too, so that's that. I uh, also put a tinted windscreen on there. Give it a bit more of a black on black look. Got myself a funky little clock, which is probably, you can't even see that, yeah, sort of, sort of. Probably one of the coolest accessories I got. Definitely the most practical, that's for sure. Because you can't go looking at your wristwatch when you're doing 100 miles an hour down the road. Um, also, replaced all the factory bolts bearing bolts that is, so they were silver, got some black ones, uh, it's a pretty cool package, it costs about, I don't know, 40 bucks on eBay, including all postage and packaging, and replaces pretty much every visible bolt on the bike, so, um, including all these ones down here, and all these ones here, windscreen ones, a whole lot, so, gives it a bit more of a slick finish, I reckon. Um, I chucked a new horn on it too, eh? You can see... You see that bad boy? He's a stable Magnum 184, I reckon. Took a while sort of labouring over which one to pick. Um, these do come in combination of two different pitches, but I had a bitch of a time trying to figure, fit that one up in there without the shocks, you know, smashing it to pieces. So, one will do me, that's for sure. I'll give you a listen to it. Just a quick burst. Whoa. So it's probably hard to tell on this, but it's about ten times louder than the shitty little horn it came with, so um I've had to use it once and it came in handy, so it's already paid for itself. Um sliders. So I'm not planning on dropping it, but you know, expect the worst. They'll say that It'll happen, so if it does, hopefully this will save me a crack fairing. Um, these mount, you can see that big bar through there, actually mounted to the engine mount bolts, and it's pretty rugged, so it's made out of plastic, that thing, so if it hits the deck, it'll sort of take all the impact and hopefully protect the rest of the bike. Uh, I'm sure that'll pay for itself at some point, too. Uh, got some new foot pegs. So these were all silver before with like a rubber top on them, which, um, yeah, they were practical enough, I guess, but these are all black. They're CNC machined out of billet aluminium, so uh, they're a pretty nice little piece. A bit more grip on them. They call them shin shredders, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they do if you treated them the wrong way. But uh, I reckon they're pretty, pretty sharp, and they sort of lead on back towards that mean exhaust slip-on unit there, which is the Vance and Hines CS1 slip-on. Uh, my wife doesn't like it very much, but I think it's probably the meanest addition to the bike. It's pretty loud. I'll give you a listen to it at the tail end there, so I can run inside quickly without all the neighbours looking at me. There it is, I picked it because it's just because of the look of it, really. Just the lines of it. 
are a whole lot nicer than those big old toilet roll looking things that some other companies make. Uh, it's got a bit of a weird ass hexagonal kind of end on it which was, I don't know, I just reckon it looks pretty sick. And it sounds even better than it looks. Um, I took off all the rear foot pegs as well, so where there was, used to be a rear foot peg there obviously, and now there's not, there's an Area P hanger bracket, which I felt was the sharpest on the market, and yeah, it's all that you really need to hang up your exhaust there. Flips on there, hangs right there, does its trick right there. At uh, the back there I've got some rear spools, these come in very handy, um, supposedly also to protect the swing arm here should you drop it. Uh, but also to put it up on its race stand, which is very handy for looking after the chain and uh, doing all the work on it and whatnot, rather than just putting it on its kickstand. Um, through the back there, you can probably see that. I'm talking that sh slick, shiny plastic thing. That's a rear wheel cowl. Because I took off that other big, fat, shitty fender that used to hang down here. I put on a Yoshimura fender eliminator kit which is actually this whole piece here uh, this LED light here um, these are separate again I got these from Oberon the LED rear signals which I feel are a whole lot sharper than the ones that were previously on there slickens it up quite a bit and the cool thing about these signals is that they got a front side too so check it out you can see it from all angles I think that's pretty Pretty cool. Let's have a look at that LED light from the back too, which shines up the number plate, which I shouldn't have on there to be honest, and I forgot to whoops. Let's flip that off. I've got a Rego tube. So rather than the big piece of plastic we had before, this tidies it up pretty nicely. So again just some billet aluminium ends. Got this from a dude in Queensland. And ironically a lot enough, um, these are illegal in Queensland and nowhere else. But uh, hopefully after my good boy no one will notice. Uh, what else do I check on it? I think that's about it. Got the rear seat cowl of course. Clear tank pad. There it is. That's what it looks like now. A bit sharper than when it first rolled off the truck, I reckon. It's probably about time to give you a listen to it. time for me to run and hide. Cheers guys. Let us know what you think. If anyone wants a bit of an instructional on how to put any of these parts on or whip them off or whatever, give us a holler. Take it easy.